Howdy folks, Justin here. Um, this is the deck that uh, DC Deacon, Pete Hines, and I made on camera uh, on the Bethesda stream on Friday, which was an absolute blast to do. If you haven't seen it out, you can go to Twitch uh, backslash twitch.tv backslash Bethesda and check out their past videos. I was on there for about an hour and a half. We played a bunch of games. I had a good time. Um, Pete Hines took this deck to 8 and 4 in the epic gauntlet we had this weekend. Um, and I wanted to record some games on the ladder with it. So here we are and here we go. I got some root beer. I am set. My opponent is Kivya. My old job. Actually, I don't know what that means. And let's see what they are rocking today. Playing Mage with the Supreme Atromancer title. Oh my god, I am playing Mono Red by mistake. Crap. <laughs> I mean, I guess I just keep recording. The uh, deck list is obviously not correct. It should be interesting. I was recording with Mono Red. Uh, it doesn't even matter why. I was playing a Mono Red deck against a friend, and uh, here we are now. Now let's see if we can do this. We drop two Northwind Outposts. Turns all of our cards into threats. I don't actually know what's in this deck, so. We might not, uh, might not be able to win, but we should be able to push quite a bit of damage. If it's not a prophecy-centric deck, we might do pretty well. All right, let's just, uh, let's just do this. And instant prophecy. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Why am I playing this deck? I think this is the all commons deck that I built. <laughs> Two prophecies. I think this is the all commons deck. Commons and Rares deck that I built to uh, show people how to farm the AI for Soul Gems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why? Why me? Why? I don't think we have any prophecies besides the gatekeepers. I don't even think we're really running any good cards. Gatekeeper's playable. Afflicted Alit is kind of playable. <sighs> I, I deserve this. I really deserve this. At least I can take that out with the Orc Clan Captain. <laughs> Another prophecy. Alright. Mystic Dragon. I mean, I do have a 9-3 in that lane. That's going to survive, right? There's no way he can remove it. I wonder if I'm running Raiding Party. Okay, so no Firebolt, right? No, he's got the Shrieking Harpy. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. I've been outskilled. <laughs> Mighty ally. Okay. Did he hit a prophecy? In, yeah, he did. He, I think he had a prophecy in all three of these. That's cool. That means the mechanics working as intended. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where's my prophecy at? I don't, I don't understand. Hey, we do have prophecies in this deck. That's pretty sweet. 14, 15, 16. We can hit for 16 next turn? That's, that's super sweet. Uh, let's draw a card. Okay. How much can we hit him for? 8, 14... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh my god, we're one off lethal with this this deck. Uh, so, yeah. 
Well, it's pretty sweet he didn't hit Prophecy that time. Or that time. Okay. We can still win this. We can totally still win this. What do I have with Charge that does 7 damage? There are no 5 power Charge creatures in this deck. There's a plan. There's yeah. A plan. There's a plan. There's yeah. A plan. Hive Defender. It's got to be Hive Defender. I don't even have this deck list in this computer because I haven't played this since I last uh, used this computer. Since I got the new computer. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to find this list. Get this off the screen. You don't belong here. Um, the deck is called Farmville Invites. <laughs> and the list is... Okay. Let's check it out. North Firebrands, Fiery Imps, Rapid Shot, Sharpshooter Scout, Steel Scimitar, Afflicted Elit, Greystone Ravager, Northman Outpost, Orc Clan Captain, Rehot Horseman, Battle Rage Orc, Mighty Ally, Morkel Gatekeeper, Raiding Party. I did have Raiding Party in there. Bog Lurcher. <laughs> uh, two Heavy Battle Axe, you know, for curve purposes. And three Rampaging Minotaurs. <laughs>